Hi, my name is Stephanie Coates, and I am the Camp Mendocino Youth of the Year. I started attending Camp Mendocino seven years ago when I was 10 years old. I love camp because it's a safe and fun place to be me. It challenges me to break out of my shell and to be a leader. The leaders in training and camp to college programs in particular have helped me improve my leadership skills, strengthen my academics, and allowed me to give back to the community. Over the last three summers, I have volunteered over 800 hours at camp and also won a lot of awards for helping younger campers, counselors, and other staff. I'm currently a senior at Cache Valley High School and want to study psychology and social work and then go to law school. I am like a chameleon. I can choose to be seen or not be seen. As a child, I spent an enormous amount of energy making myself invisible. I blended into the background because I was afraid of being judged and being made to feel worthless. My name is Stephanie Coates, and I am the 2015 Youth of the Year for Camp Mendocino. When I was five, my mother disappeared. I didn't know it then, but she was addicted to drugs and in jail. I was angry and confused, but never talked about it. I didn't feel like anyone would understand, and no one would care. I was afraid that my dad would be angry at me for talking about my mom, and afraid that my new stepmom would judge me. When I tried to visit with my mom, she would flake. The person who was supposed to love me the most didn't show up, so I felt as though I didn't matter. Antoine, my twin, he talks a lot. He has always been more outgoing and self-assured, so it was easy for me to hide behind him. I honestly didn't think that my voice was strong enough, so I let him speak for me. I couldn't find my own confidence. I was yearning for a female role model and for a place where I could tell my story and trust that I would be heard. Then, when I was 10, my dad signed me up with for Camp Medicino, thanks to a Guardsman Scholarship. <laughs> when we got to camp, Antoine and I were split up. Girls over here and boys over there. Who is gonna speak up for me now? I was silent and unable ex to express myself. As I watched other campers, they were confident and had a sense of belonging. They were having so much fun. It was a freedom that I never felt, and I wanted it. After five years as a camper, I was chosen to be a team leader in training, or LIT. That's the year I met Evelyn, a staff member at camp. She allowed me to share my deepest thoughts and feelings. I never imagined that I would be able to tell someone all the things that I was dealing with. She became the positive female role model that I needed. Some days, Evelyn and I would sit under the towering redwood trees and talk. I believe that she truly wanted to know all about my life. If Evelyn didn't judge me, I, be I began to believe that others wouldn't either. Because of this relationship and many others, I was able to let my guard down. I no longer felt the need to push Anton in front of me and hide. In my seven years at camp, I won awards for professionalism, community service, best LIT twice, and my gold C, the most prestigious award at camp. <laughs> now I'm on the board of my school's Black Student Union and I'm a peer tutor, all because of the confidence I found at camp. I have shed my camouflage to uncover my full potential and I demand for this chameleon to be seen. Thank you.